this is how to all today I'm going to show you how to make a multiplayer game with game maker so this is the first room and this is the first object it's connect so when connect is left pressed the game is uh, connecting to a TCP slash IP and it, when you're gonna play the game it's gonna ask you for an IP and you just leave it blank if it's on local machine this is the step object to see if a player joined if a player joined well the room is gonna change to the the room that you played a match this is the create object if it's le left pressed then player 1 is equal to true so if player 1 is equal to uh, true then when you're going to use the, the keypad when you press up well player 1 will move up and if player 2 is equal to true then when you pr pr press up you're going to move player 2 is going to move up this is the other code on the create object if uh, multiplayer session is created then uh, it will go to the next room if it fail well it's going to show you this message this is the join object <coughs> so I was uh, as I was saying earlier this is going to be uh, global player is equal to 2 and this is when you uh, join it, if there's no session then it it won't join and if there's a session when it, then it's going to go to the next room this is for the it's a persistent object so it, it's in every room this what this object does is it tells you the variable of player 1 and player 2 this is player 1 when you create when the player 1 is created it uh, writes X and Y at the ID 2 and 3 and when it steps it checks if it moved with X and Y and as I was saying earlier, it checks us if it's a uh, player one when you press up or down or whatever. Same thing for here. So, so if you press left, then he's gonna move left, and it's gonna write it in the multiplayer variables. And it only will work if if you're player one. And it's pretty much the same thing with player 2. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So I'm going to show, what I show you what it looks like. So this is the IP. You just, I'm just going to leave it blank because it's local. So you see two windows. It's like you, if you had two computers. So here is going to be the this one is going to be the host. So I'm going to click create. This is player one. Here I'm going to click join a game. So it's going to join on this computer. So this is player two. This is player two. This is player one. Player one. So if I move, then on the other computer it also moves. And if player two moves, also moves on the player one screen. And I also added a little bonus. If you press one here, <coughs> it's gonna increase by one. So this is just to show you how to make a multiplayer variable excluding X and Y. So that might be come in handy. And uh, yeah, that's about it. 
uh, the link's gonna be in the description how to uh, how to do this it's gonna be easier if you just take the exam thanks this is how to all